Until recently, North Koreans refused to even pick up the phone when South Koreans called the border hotline. So it was significant to see Ri Son Gwon, who's in charge of inter-Korean relations for the North Korean government, stepping over the border into the south. He led a five-member team of high-ranking diplomats into a meeting with a South Korean counterpart in what's known as the Truce Village at Panmunjom. Our talks resume after North and South Korean ties have been severed for a long time, but I believe the first step is half the journey. We came to this meeting with a serious and sincere attitude and with the thought of giving our brethren, who have high hopes for this dialogue, invaluable results as the first gift of the year. The meeting did produce results. North Korea says it will send a delegation of athletes and team members to next month's Winter Olympics in South Korea. The South says it will consider suspending sanctions if it helps North Korea's participation in the Games in Pyeongchang. Both sides have also agreed to hold military talks to prevent accidental clashes and ease tensions, as well as conduct other high-level exchanges to improve inter-Korea ties. But attempts to discuss North Korea's nuclear bomb and missiles program got nowhere, with the head of the delegation from Pyongyang warning that such discussions could damage relations. The North has long maintained that its nuclear arsenal is necessary to deter an invasion by U.S. troops. And South Korea's proposal for talks on reunions for family members who've been separated for decades met with little response from the North. Despite that, many in the South see any talks happening at all as a positive step. I believe these formal diplomatic discussions can result in peace. Foreigners see the Korean Peninsula as a dangerous place that's under the constant threat of war. And I hope those concerns don't become reality. And after a year of high tensions on the Korean Peninsula and in Japan and across the Pacific, including the threat of military action by the U.S., these talks are already being heralded as a breakthrough. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Seoul.